Wow. It's a cosmic collision course years in the making. Today, a DART spacecraft the size of a vending machine traveling 14,000 miles an hour slammed into an asteroid more than 6 million miles away from Earth. It's NASA's first ever planetary defense test, and it may one day help scientists protect Earth from a catastrophic collision. Well, the main goal is to learn how to deflect an asteroid when we don't need to so that if we ever do need to, we'll have the ability to develop, develop that, that technology. And the Bay Area is deeply involved. Scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Lab have been providing impact simulations and analysis for the DART mission since 2014. Now the team will use high-tech computer models to help assess how much material is flying out of the hit asteroid and whether the crash forced it to change course. We talk with Megan Brooks-Sile, who leads the lab's plan Planetary Defense Group. How the asteroid will respond is a little bit unknown right now because we don't know all the details about its material properties. So a lot of the work that we've been doing over the last eight years has been building in more sophistication to how we model asteroids. NASA Ames in Mountain View is also involved. NASA Ames is an important part of uh, our Planetary Defense Coordination Office. They do studies of uh, asteroids entering the atmosphere, what happens when an asteroid enters the atmosphere. The $330 million mission is just a test, one that began with a launch nearly a year ago from Vandenberg Space Force Base in Santa Barbara County. And while NASA insists no asteroids are currently threatening the Earth, Bay Area scientists may be the key to figuring out if we can ever derail a planet killer if needed. In the future, if, if we need to deflect something, the modeling is really important to get a sense of how effective the deflection technology will be. A first of its kind, save the planet experiment. And right now, there are telescopes, high-powered telescopes on every continent on Earth that are tracking this hit asteroid to see what will happen next. So stay tuned. It's almost something right out of a sci-fi movie. Back to you. It certainly sounds like that. Thank you, Marianne.